OP adopts the daughter of her roommate, who passed away during childbirth, and fakes being the birth mother. I'm sorry, but this is a long read. While I was in college, I was paired with a very peculiar roommate. She didn't talk to me much, and would always be away. She was very clean and organized, and I thanked the heavens for it, because all my friends complained about their roommates, and I had gotten lucky. Jumped to two years later, and she comes up to me to say that she's pregnant, and may need some help from me. I asked who was the father but she said it was a random guy she hooked up with, and she couldn't even find him anymore. When I asked about her family, she said that she didn't have one. Her entire family was unalive, and she had been in foster care most of her life and only got out because she wasn't underage anymore. After that talk, she didn't say anything else. I noticed that she had strange patterns. She would wake up, leave super early, and get back super late. The only time she asked me for my help, while pregnant was when she went to discover the SX of the baby, and to accompany her to an appointment with someone who was a bit away from campus. Even then, we didn't talk much. She kept her routine, and I kept mine. Sure, she was pregnant, but she acted like she wasn't, and to be honest, there wasn't much I could do anyway. She didn't slow down, even when she got near the end of the pregnancy, and I'm sure this played a huge part in how things ended. She was seven months pregnant, and asked me to take her to the doctor, because she was feeling a lot of pain. She was weird during the entire ride, talking nonsense. She said she wanted me to care for the baby, and to never tell the baby about her. At this point, I was freaking out. This wasn't supposed to happen, so I was just agreeing to whatever she was saying. When we got to the hospital, they took her straight to be examined and later to have a C-section. Apparently she had preeclampsia, and her placenta was detached. At this point, I called a few friends of mine because I was freaking out. The doctors gave me some medicine because my blood pressure was very high, and I was having a panic attack. I don't remember that part but that's what they told my friends when they got there. Later, I learned that my roommate had passed away because of the birth, but the kid was alive. They said that they had found a note on her belongings, saying that I was the one who was supposed to care for the kid because she had no one else and didn't want her daughter to be raised by strangers like she was. I was so confused at the time. They said they would have to contact child services and I would have to file for adoption. This was at a weird time, or maybe the city was just messed up because they only checked my background and if I had a job and a place to fall back on, and that was that. They just gave me a baby and didn't think twice about it, because apparently the note that the roommate had left was a big thing and should be taken into account. They gave me the note to read, and I wasn't supposed to ever tell the kid about her real mom. After a lot of thinking, I came up with the idea to investigate her alongside my friends, which wasn't much since we were a bunch of idiots in college with not a lot of money. We could only find out that she was a SX worker, and that nobody knew her much around college aside from a girl who was also a SX worker and gave us the information. My friends told me to make up a pregnancy and have my parents care for the kid while I was in college. I'm not sure my parents ever bought the whole story, but they did love the kid and accepted caring for her. The story was basically me getting pregnant by accident and not telling them because I was ashamed, but coming back around because I realized that I needed help. 19 years later, I'm married with two kids who are mine and my daughter who is mine but not by blood. I love all of them equally. I learned a lot after I graduated, and I had to care for her with the help of my parents. She is a bright kid and looks a lot like her mother, which makes me sad sometimes. She even says that we don't look alike, and I tell her she took after her father. I really wish I could tell her the truth. I feel so bad for not doing it. I don't want her mother to be forgotten, especially by her own daughter. Conflicted. Second post. Update. My first daughter isn't mine biologically. I never thought so many people would pay attention to what I posted here. After making the post, my desire to come clean to my daughter got even bigger, and after reading the response to the first post, I just saw a lot of things that I hadn't thought about before. Also, after some time watching her, I knew something was on her mind. I told her the truth a few days ago. My husband took our younger kids to a birthday party, and I said I wanted some alone time with her, so we wouldn't be joining them. We were hanging out watching TV, and after a while, I asked her if there was something on her mind that she wanted to ask me. She asked about her biological father. I showed her the note my roommate left, and she didn't really understand at first, but then I started telling her what had happened. She cried a lot. It took a long time for her to calm down. I swear it was the hardest thing to do, because I wanted to cry during the entire thing, but it was her moment. She asked me a lot of questions about it. Why have I never told her or anyone else in the family? Why am I only doing that now? Was I feeling guilty? Was I feeling burdened by her? It took hours to answer all her questions. And to be honest, at this point, 
I was crying too because I didn't want to hear her question about how much I care for her and how much I love having her in my life. It was emotionally draining for both of us, and in the end, she just asked me to do some research on her mom and take her to see her grave. I agreed, and we will plan a visit to her grave soon. I asked her if she wanted to tell the rest of the family, and she said it was only fair to do so, but she would do it with me. She did ask for some time to process it, and so far, we haven't told anyone else. She's been pretty interested in the situation, and she has confessed to me a lot of stuff I didn't know before. She said she used to feel like she didn't belong because she doesn't look like me, but her siblings do. She also said she would often feel like a mistake I made in my life when I was younger. Those and other things really broke my heart. As of right now, I have decided to take care of her first and then bring the rest of the family. I booked an appointment with a therapist to help us both navigate the situation in a healthy manner and help us especially her deal with the feelings that the situation brought to our lives. She has been closer to me than she already was. I feel like she's been more relaxed, and to be honest, so have I. I know I made the promise to never tell her the truth, but it just didn't feel right to let the memory of my roommate pass away with me when she has a living child. Even if the memory is just her name. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.